we collected 10 amazing games made with Godot Engine. Some have a following already and some are diamonds, yet mostly unknown. Helms of Fury brings you a bouncy action roguelike chaos. It is so fast paced. Now you are here, then you are there, and then you spin around like a crazy person. They always throw a bazillion enemies at you. Your items are tied to your abilities, so your playstyle will be constantly switched up. It also has couch co-op, which is great, because I have a special someone in my life I really want to share games with. My couch. The game recently got fully funded on Kickstarter. You can follow the development on their Twitter. The Circle of Kersoven is a mix between city building strategy and immersive simulation. It is one of these slow paced, relaxing games where you can just chill out for a moment. Your citizens have wants and needs. Unlike me, they form social circles. They interact with each other and the nature around them. So if you want to interact with an idyllic low poly world, you should take a look at the early access version of this game. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I will just read the Steam page. <clears throat> Rocket Sword is a ridiculous gracious slash em up where you are the projectile. It is one of these what the f***ing f*** is this f kind of games. They say a game needs an engaging fantasy. A rocket propelled greatsword is an engaging fantasy. You know, swords are cool and deal a lot of damage, but they have one single weakness. Their range is just too low, but what if we attach a rocket to it? Boom, genius, problem solved. Have you ever dreamed of being the owner of your own cat cafe? No? Then you have terrible life goals. In this game, you manage your stuff, upgrade your cafe and build relationships with people. And most importantly, you can adopt stray cats and let them live in the cafe. Finally, your dream of becoming a crazy cat lady can become reality. Fun fact, there is a game called Crazy Cat Lady Simulator. I don't know why this is a thing, but it is. No, 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 no. Have you ever wondered what would happen if someone made a roguelike but with only the RNG? Luck be a landlord is what would happen. You have only one way to pay rent. It is not institution, it is gambling. But you have your trusty slot machine with you. And you can upgrade it with all these kinds of crazy symbols, which do crazy things and often have synergies. So it is a kind of deck builder, but your deck is your slot machine. It is a fascinating game. Here are some more features from the Steam page for you. A terrible landlord to defeat. A dog you can pet. Capitalism. You can currently buy the early access version for only 5 capitalism units and play a demo for free. Here's another one of these games where you have to think. Ugh, okay. Wait, it has cute animals. I like it. So, Of Mice and Moggies is a logic puzzle game. You are this cute little cat and you chase animals and then cuddle them to death. Oh no. You can build your own animal arenas with the level editor. Overall, even the art style reminds me of Watership Down, which reawakens deep-seated drama. A terrible thing is coming. What do you mean? The field. It's covered with blood. <sighs> I don't know. Nature is metal. And this game is on sale right now for only 3 euros. Earth is on the verge of collapsing. In a thousand days to escape. This will happen in less than 3 years, I guess. And you are the one to set up the largest space mission there ever was and find a new world for humanity. You have to convince some brave space pioneers to join your mission by shaking their house until they fall into your rocket. You scout for new places, analyze their properties, maybe talk to aliens that might be friendly and might be not so friendly. I always wanted to own a planet and this finally gives me a chance to do so. You get the game for 2 euros right now, which is much cheaper than an actual planet. Alpha Man might not be as powerful as Beta Man or even Full Release Man, but he got quite a few abilities. It obviously is a Mega Man clone, but it combines 8-bit Mega Man aesthetic with Mega Man X gameplay. You kill robot masters, collect their weapons, use your dash, wall jump. You even have the Z Saber, which I bet is called the A Sword or something. But who cares, there are some quite unique stages. I mean, you battle a maid, a chef, an usher and a firefighter. It surely is worth the monetary investment of one euro. Go check it out. Blastronaut describes itself as a mining game. But man is that aggressive mining. Everything explodes. The world wants to see you dead. And you just wanted to rip this little bit of resources out of it. Player versus environment never was this literal. I love this nice little lighting effect they have going there. You can download the demo from their Steam page. 
And before we come to the last one, if you click the like button, YouTube might be fooled into thinking we make actually good content and show this to more people. Also, we make a game with the Godot engine as well. First of First Fungeon is an action roguelike with a large selection of spells. We recently added champion enemies and a hard mode for your saddest out there. They cast a lot if you don't interrupt them by punching them real, real hard. INF is a Metroidvania with Celeste style platforming and some very, very cool spells. I really love the art style, especially the lighting in combination with all the spells. The release will be soon, so I am really curious to see where it goes. It seems like too few people have this game on their radar. You can really make so beautiful games with Godot. So we hope you liked this video. You can see more Godot games here. And here are some tricks for the engine in case you are working on your own game. Let us know in the comments what Godot games you are excited about.